Are they out there? Yes. Send them in. <laughs> Jenny, Maggie, I'm shocked and disappointed in you. Why in the world would you leave school grounds and go to a 7-Eleven? The new issue of Tiger Beat just came out. And Sean Cassidy's on the cover. <laughs> Who? Sean Cassidy. Sean Cassidy. Come on! <laughs> I got a question. Am I going to hell? <laughs> Girls, how many times have we been through this? Now, if you two don't buckle down and take your studies more seriously, you're never going to amount to anything. I'm sorry, sister, but you're wrong. Ginny and I are going places. Yeah! One day we're going to lead exciting lives. Price check and foot spray. <laughs> oh, four ninety-five. And uh, do yourself a favor. Spring for a pair of shower slippers. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, hey, Mag, guess what? My mom called this morning. Her bus tour just hit Rome. Oh, boy, I'd love to go to Rome. Meet one of those gorgeous Italian guys with their dark hair and their cute little butts. Not like here. What is it about Utica that grows a man's butt? Why? Really, why? Jenny, you have a call on line three. Hello. What? 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 Look, I can't think right now. I'm at work. I'm going to have to call you back. What? That was about my father. Your father? Oh, my God. I mean, after all these years, you're finally going to meet him? I doubt it. He just died. Oh, Jenna, I'm sorry. I, I don't know what to say. Um, try to remember the good times. <laughs> I told you I didn't know what to say. Well, what difference does it make? He never had anything to do with me. Did your mother ever tell you anything about him? Not really. All she would ever say was he was never interested in being a father. That and never, ever trust the rhythm method. <laughs> now just because some lawyer calls, I'm supposed to drop everything and go to L.A. for the reading of a will? There's a will? There's L.A.? We are so there! <laughs> I feel like I want to go. And why would you? I mean, it's just a chance to find out who your father was and solve the mystery of your life. But hey, isn't Wally the Butcher throwing that cool barbecue using the out-of-date meat? <laughs> Where are you going? Aisle three. We're going to L.A. for the reading of a will. We'll need beach shells. <laughs> a new beginning and we're starting again. Look straight ahead and don't look back where we've been. I say hello again, my friend. If we jump, we can fly away. Run a track on the back when you hear me say. I say hello again, my friend. Ms. Gardner was delayed in court, but she should be with you any minute. Thank you. <sighs> I am so glad you talked me into coming here. I'm finally going to learn something about my father. <clears throat> oh, no. Not the hiccups. <sighs> you know I get them when I'm nervous. <clears throat> now help me get rid of them. Why can't you hold your own breath like a normal person? Because I cheat. Okay. <laughs> <sighs> okay. You ready? Yeah. And don't wimp out this time. Okay. Okay. All right, breathe it all out. <laughs> Are you okay? Okay. Looking good. Feeling good. Walking tall. There you go. Okay. 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 Not the hair. Not the hair. Not the hair. Bert, what is a lesbian divorce scheduled for tomorrow? <laughs> no. No, I'm Jenny McMillan. Oh, you're Jenny. Chase Gardner. Uh, this is my friend Maggie. <laughs> and you see, about before I get these hiccups and I can't stop, so she tries to help me out. Feel free me. not to go on. <laughs> Jenny, I'm sorry about your father. <laughs> I just want you to know how badly I feel for you during your time of grief. <gasps> okay, how can we stop those? Would you girls like something to drink? 
Coffee, mineral water, Snapple? Oh, I'd go for a Snapple. Me too. How much is that? Oh, no, I got this one. Forget it. You pop for the pink Chablis on the plate. Oh, no, you got the headphones. Now, stop it. You Please let me. Girl, girl. Let, let, you let me. Put you your got, money away. Let, let me. Girl. Girl. I got it. Girl. 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 It's on us. Okay. <laughs> Let's get started. Kurt, two lemonades. And is Jason Slade coming? No, we couldn't get a hold of him. V? Jason Slade? Hmm? What's a movie star have to do with the reading of my father's will? Jenny, you will be very proud to learn that your father was an actor. A very important one. Really? Who? Uh -huh. oh. Guy Hathaway. Who? Oh. <laughs> Guy Hathaway. He was big. All right, he was big in the 70s. Well, actually, the early 70s. 70 to 71. Those were the glory years. <laughs> Look, maybe you should just read the will. I will leave that to Guy. But I thought he was a dead guy. <laughs> he made a video will. Actors. <laughs> Proudly presents Guy Hathaway's Will. Hi, Guy Hathaway here. And if you're watching this, well, I guess it's just not my day. <laughs> well, Jenny, where did I begin? In case your mother didn't tell you, we met while I was on location in Utica, filming a little something called, uh, it happened in Paris. <laughs> we had a few great weeks, and then like all location romances, I split after the rap party. It wasn't until years later I found out about you, and now... Line? I bequeath to... Yeah, 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 I got it. I bequeath to my only daughter, Jenny... My entire worldly possessions, except for the box on the mantle, which I leave to my good friend, Jason Slade. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. No need to get maudlin. I'm off to Honduras to make a little flick call. Hello. London calling. <laughs> See you in the movies. I can't believe after all these years, that's all he had to say to me. So what do you leave her? The only thing of real value he had in the world His house in the Hollywood Hills Better known as the playpen <laughs> Like leaving me a house is going to make up for everything You know, I can see how his house would be a constant reminder of the pain he's caused you I, on the other hand, have no feelings about Guy <laughs> And I might just be interested in taking the house off your hands First of all, she's not selling anything until she sees the house and second of all, we're still waiting on those snapples. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> this is where my father lived. You know, it's kind of weird with all his stuff. It's like he's still here. He is. <laughs> Oh, wow. <laughs> Who was this guy? And how drunk was my mother? <laughs> hey, I wonder what this thing he does. Wow. <laughs> I feel like I'm in a Star Trek episode and I was just beamed down to Planet Four play. Hey, you're talking about my father. My really creepy father. So, uh, l l listen, Max, about the film shoot this weekend. Yeah, I thought we'd open with the steady cam shot like Scorsese used in Goodfellas. No cuts, no cuts, no cuts. Cut the bull. Scorsese, huh? We're shooting Barry Futterman's Bar Mitzvah. <laughs> So tell me, man, did you get any numbers at the party last night? Yeah, the number that you would... Uh, 
Hello. <laughs> hey. Who are you guys? I'm Max. And, and I'm Cooper. But more importantly, I'm Max. Who are these guys? We rent the guest house, I'll bet. I'm a guest house. Oh, oh, I, I get it. You must be Jenny. How did you know that? Well, we're the ones who shot your father's will. We're pendulum films. <laughs> Listen, um, I just want to tell you that I'm really sorry about your father. You look like you need a hug. Has that ever worked for you? How about you? So you're like an idiot. <laughs> Wait a minute. You guys shot the video, Will. So you knew my father. What was he like? He was the kindest, most generous man that I have ever known. I remember one time at a party, he turned to me and he said, Max, what are you doing empty-handed? Here, take Greta. <laughs> Nobody asked for in return? Only the details. I really have to stop asking questions about this man. So, um, you're going to be our new landlord, huh? That makes me happy in, oh, so many ways. Sorry to disappoint you, but I'm selling this place. Wait, whoa, wait, wait. You can't sell it. Yeah, I mean, we live here. I mean, where are we going to go? Call Greta. No, uh, we drifted apart after someone told her I wasn't the Baldwin. <laughs> Can you guys just do us a little favor? Can you walk that way until, you know, you're way out of the house? Okay. I just got a whole new theory on why women hate you. So you're going to sell it, huh? Why shouldn't I? Look, Maggie, I keep searching for some kind of a connection with Disco Dad. And let's face it, there isn't one. I just want to sell this place and go back home. Am I wrong? No. Besides, we don't belong in this town. You saw the way that lawyer treated us this morning. She acted like we were a couple of hicks. And after we tipped her for the juice. <laughs> well, I am not going to let this get me down. At least there's one good thing coming out of this trip. We get to meet a movie star. What do you mean? The lawyer said we can bring Jason Slade his inheritance, remember? Oh, right. Oh, no. I can't go. Why not? Oh, we're leaving tonight, and I promised all my brothers I'd get them souvenirs. Like what? Well, they all want T-shirts with pictures of the girls from Baywatch. Except for Tony. He wants Hasselhoff. Don't ask. Kristen, <laughs> why do you do this to me? I'm on set in like... Two hours. Oh. My. God. What? Jason Slade. Jason Slade. I love you. Listen, if this is a paternity thing, I settle. No, no. Um, I'm here because Guy Hathaway wanted you to have this. Guy Hathaway? Wow. There's a blast from the pat. Come on in. Come on in. Guy Hathaway? How is old Guy? Well, he's dead. Hey, he may have had a few slow years, but let's not count him out just yet. <laughs> no, he's really dead. Wow. Guy dead. I loved Guy. He was... He was my father. What? That makes you my... my father on the adventures of Little Dicky, CBS, 1978. <laughs> Six episodes and... <laughs> Goodbye. Canceled. Didn't even help after we replaced Guy. <laughs> so, who are you? I was his daughter. Oh, in what show? <laughs> no. In life. Life? I was his daughter in real life. Mm. Mm. Look, Guy left this for you in his will. Oh, wow. It's my cat. Little Dickie's cat. <laughs> no, I, I still remember my catchphrase. I'm the Dickster. <laughs> 
look, you must be really busy, so I'm just going to leave you alone, okay? No. No, 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 you, you got to help me. My assistant's supposed to rehearse the scene I'm shooting later. And... Would you read it with me? You want me to act with you, Jason Slade? I can't. Oh, come uh, on. Uh, You're Guy Hathaway's daughter. I'm sure you'll be... Well, let's just give it a shot. Uh, okay. Now, here's the backstory. I'm a cop named Frank. I've been shot. I, I don't know if I'm going to make it. And I've been unfaithful to my wife. You. But since you are so totally in love with me, you forgive me. You got it? Uh-huh. Okay. <laughs> Honey, is that you? She takes Frank's hand and holds it. <laughs> no, see that—that's the stage direction. You, you got to read the dialogue there. Sorry. Just try it again. Take two. <laughs> Honey, is that you? Yes, Frank. It is me. <laughs> Listen, I, I don't know how long I got, so let me just get this out. Last year, when I fell off the wagon, I had an affair. I never meant to hurt you or the kids. I, I'm sorry, Susan. Can you ever forgive me? What are you, nuts? I gave you kids. I put up with their drinking. I never should have married you, you sleazeball. Okay. Where does it say that? Sorry. So tell me all about Jason Slade. All right. Well, he was really cute. Uh-huh. Really cool. Uh -huh. I can't believe I just... Oh, met good. You're still... Here. Listen, we need to talk. Don't you two ever knock? Now listen, before you sell this place, there's something you should probably see. Look, if that guy's video will, I've already seen it. Not this version. I split after the rap party. It wasn't until years later I found out about you. I told you, I've seen it. Keep watching. Jenny, there are so many times I wanted to contact you. But your mother didn't think it was a good idea. We had an agreement. I'd stay away. I guess she was right. I probably wouldn't have made a very good role model. But I've lived life on my own terms. I have no regrets. Except for the big one. That the only connection I'll ever have with my daughter are these pictures. Now, I know you're not going to believe this. But through these pictures... I feel like I've grown to know you. But you really were my daughter. So before I go, I gotta say this, Jenny. Just once. I love you. Why did you cut all that out of the will? Guy made us take it out. He didn't think it'd be fair to you. Thought it'd be easier if you just thought he was a jerk. And he was right. It was easier. Why did you have to show me this? We thought you should know how your father really felt about you. Yeah, maybe I'd get a little huggy out of it, too. I just got a great idea. What? You two need to leave again. Hey, man. Did you notice? They let us stay longer this time? Yeah. You're not going to sell this place, are you? Well, my father wanted me to have it. And it's the closest I'll ever get to knowing him. And maybe that's what you should do. But you better call me every week. Call you? The only way I'm doing this is if you do it with me. I can't just pick up and move to L.A. I, I just can't. <sighs> Hi, hi. Hi. How are my two little out-of-towners? Well, we're just... Good, good. <laughs> I have all the documents for the transfer of the house right here. Okay. And I must say, I think selling is the right decision. So, red tab sign, yellow tab initial. You're serious. Why would you give all this up for me? 
How about because we haven't gone a day without talking since we were eight? How about when the kids made fun of me because I didn't have a father, you helped me beat the crap out of them? <laughs> How about because I'd miss you? How about signing here? I have closet people coming at five. <laughs> oh, okay, look, I'll admit it. It would be really exciting to move here. It's just that I'm scared. Don't you think I am? And with good reason. L.A. is a very scary place. Ooh, scary. <laughs> what happened to all that talk about getting out of Utica? Leading an exciting life? Maybe that's all it was. Just talk. Girls, let me give you some friendly advice. Take the money. Go back to your little burg. Marry a couple of nice local boys named Buck and Bo. Join a bowling league and start popping out babies. Because this town will swallow you whole. Thank you. That was very helpful. Good. Because now we gotta stay, right? <laughs> oh, yeah. And uh, for your information, bowling is back, baby. <laughs> okay, fine. But if I walk out that door, my offer goes with me. Ooh, scary. <laughs> Mag, we are moving to L.A. <laughs> oh, wait, I just thought of something. How are we ever going to tell our families? Evolution. Growth. Change. Angulum Films proudly presents Jenny and Maggie's Goodbye Utica. Hi, Mom. Hi, Mom. Dad. Well, let's see. Where do I start? Jenny? Well, um... Um... Line? <laughs> In tune, I wrote about Just Shoot Me. Tuesday on NBC, it's a little show called Just Shoot Me. Tuesdays on my CTV. This week, Sherry O'Terry from SNL guest stars as the assistant from Hell. Whoa! TV Guide says it's smart, just shoot me as hard. Now, here comes the chorus part. Hey, it's Just Shoot Me. Just Shoot Me, Doot Doot Me. Just Shoot Me on NBC. Tuesdays after Frasier. Thanks, TV.